selling redos in your practice. Providing patients with customized eyewear is one part artistry and two part science when done successfully. It can occasionally be challenging for even the most skilled optician. In this lesson, you'll learn the importance of a proactive approach to reducing redos by using some simple examples because we know that lenses that don't meet your patient's needs may have a huge impact on your business. But before we talk about ways to make changes to your redo rate, let's note two things that are important to get started. Number one, knowing your practice overall redo rate percentage and number two, making the decision to improve it. This applies to everyone in your practice, including you. I bet you already have the necessary skills, knowledge, and expertise to prevent or reduce redos. But did you know that redos result in extra effort, extra cost, and extra time, unrealized patient expectations, low office morale, because you spend more of the workday explaining or apologizing rather than satisfying a new patient, and lastly, a lost opportunity on something more productive, enjoyable, or profitable, like new patients, or golf for some of you. Ignoring the true cost of redos that could be doubling your expenses, while at the same time, losing the opportunity to generate new income from new patients can really add up. First, let's take a look at how much the doctor charges for the exam. While exam cost depends on many factors, let's face it, the doctor's time is very expensive and very valuable. If the doctor charges as low as $50 per exam and could complete up to three exams per hour, that's $150 an hour that's possibly missed from new patients if a returning patient comes back and takes more of the doctor's time because their lenses aren't working for them. The bottom line is you and the practice are working for free for each redo. Of course, even if your local optical lab doesn't charge for redo materials, there could be shipping costs, taxes, and costs associated with time to check in, verify, and call the patient who must yet again come back in. This takes time from the front office and even more time from the optician. Now that we have briefly discussed the negative impact of redo orders, are you ready to reduce redos? Here are some of the benefits of making it happen. Increase productivity by eliminating unnecessary steps. Increased revenue by spending time with new patients. Confidence boosters for staff by using the best practices. And happy patients who get the best eyewear solution on the first try. Let's face it, redoing an order, apologizing for errors, and paying additional expenses are no fun, and your workday could be put to better use. It also leaves you wondering how many patients were unsatisfied that did not return. Remember, good news travels fast, but bad news travels even faster. Now that you understand the benefits of reducing or preventing redo, I'm sure you're curious to know the first step in reducing redos. Well, the first step is awareness. Tracking all redos might be as simple as hash marks on an index card or a basic spreadsheet. Organizing each remake by categories such as doctor changes, warranty replacements, and non-adapts illustrates which redo category needs the most attention. Take the opportunity to share your results regularly at staff meetings to improve patient satisfaction and practice profitability. Developing a process and following it is the key. The next chapter will give you several tips on how to prevent redos and professionally address them when necessary.